Hello there, and welcome back. Number 11 on page 32 is a very difficult problem. So if you are struggling with what we're doing now, I would recommend that you stop the video and not try to do this one yet. If you're pretty comfortable with what we're doing, this one is going to be, um, it's going to take some thought, but um, it, it's a good problem. And I will go ahead and tell you where some of these problems came from. I was looking for practice problems and I used the textbook for some of them. But some of them came from a website that prepares students for the GRE exam. GRE is the graduate record exam. So if you are trying to get into graduate school, a master's degree or a PhD, you sometimes take the graduate record exam. So some of these problems are beyond four-year college level. So if they feel difficult, it's because they are. And I don't want you to feel bad if they're confusing because that doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. It means that the problems are extremely hard. And this is one of them. This, this number 11 is a little bit tougher than the average problem. So I want to walk you through this and don't fret about it. Just do the best you can and that is okay. Um, okay, here we go. In a mixture of 45 liters, the ratio of sugar to salt is one to two. What is the amount of sugar to be added if the ratio has to be two to one? So whatever's going on here, I need to add some sugar to get the desired mixture. And an example of where this would be relevant, if you're mixing medicine, maybe at a pharmacy or even in a hospital setting where you have to mix certain um certain chemicals together in this case sugar and salt is not dangerous but it could be if you were mixing certain substances together to get a new substance this can be extremely important so what they're telling me is that we have a current mixture right now the ratio of sugar to salt is one to two that we have 45 liters of this stuff in its current form and that we want it to be a ratio of two to one. So let's start breaking this down. The first thing I'm going to go after is right here, the blue part. The ratio currently or right now the ratio of sugar to salt is one to two. And I'm sorry, they gave me um, this form. Sugar to salt currently is one to two. So what that means is that there is one part sugar to two parts salt. That's a total of three parts of this mixture. Okay, so I've used that information to figure out what is currently the situation. So sugar is one part, salt is two parts, that's a total of three parts. Well, Let's extend this just a little bit and figure out how much that is in terms of liters. So if, if the whole thing is 45 liters, that's the mixture, I want to know what part of that is sugar and what part of that is salt. So let's do the sugar one first. The sugar is one part out of three and we're talking about 45 liters of this stuff. So one times 45 is 45, divided by three is 15 liters of sugar. 
Now you could just subtract there, but I want to show you how you can do this too. Either way is gonna be fine. So the salt is two out of three, and we have 45 liters of this stuff. So two times 45 is 90, and divide that by three is um, 30. So salt is 30 liters. That is right now. That in itself is a tough problem. Just being able to find that out is not easy. But then they want me to make a new mixture. So they're saying this dosage or this concoction, this mixture is not right. And if I were dealing with something like that in a pharmacy and I gave somebody the wrong mixture, that could be very dangerous. So what they want us to do is figure out, okay, the mixture that we want it to be is two to one. We want the proper mixture to be two to one. Now this part's tricky. This whole thing's tricky. What they're wanting me to do is say, The desired mixture, the one that we want it to be, the proper one, we want it to be a two to one ratio. So that means that I already have 15 liters of sugar. So I'm gonna add an unknown amount to that. And I already have 30 liters of salt. And let me highlight, not yellow, because that's my, uh, let's use orange. There's the 30 liters of salt and the 15 liters of sugar. And we're going to have to add some sugar to make this mixture be what we want it to be. I know this looks funny. Hang in there with me. Let's go ahead and say 2 times 30 2 times 30 is 60, and that's going to equal this cross product. 1 times 15 plus x is just 15 plus x. So if you subtract your 15, you are going to end up with 45, which is the x, that is 45 liters of sugar that you need to add. And guys, I'm just going to tell you, this is one of the most difficult problems that I have ever tried to explain. So if this doesn't make sense, don't fret about it. Don't panic about it. Just skip over it and go to the next one. If you get this on a test and you don't know how to do it, it's okay. Just say, I, I don't get it. I'm going to pick an answer and go on. Don't waste 15 minutes trying to figure this out. If you follow this, you are in very good shape. If you can understand this one, you don't need to worry about ratio and proportion. Okay, I'm going to stop this video and I'll see you back for the next one. We'll do problem number 12.